and welcome to Whitetail Institute Food Plot TV. When it comes to food plot success, there are some things that you can control better than others. And of all those things that you can control, nothing offers the benefit of having your soil tested by a qualified soil testing laboratory anytime you're even considering spreading lime and fertilizer. Why use a laboratory soil test kit to test your soil instead of one of those cheap do-it-yourself testers? Because only a laboratory test allows you to make sure of two things that your forage plants have access to all the nutrients they need and that you may save money in the process, often even hundreds of dollars per acre, by eliminating wasted lime and fertilizer expenses. Commonly available types of soil tests include over-the-counter probes, slurry kits, and laboratory soil test kits. All of these are inexpensive and easy to use. The difference is only a laboratory soil test kit can take two things into account very precisely. First, all soils are not the same. Some soils are heavier and some are lighter and some hold lime and fertilizer longer than others. Secondly, different types of forages have different fertilizer requirements. Taking these facts into account with precision requires scientific analysis of the soil. That's why most do-it-yourself testers can only give you generalized recommendations, which the Whitetail Institute already provides right on its bag for situations when a laboratory soil test isn't available. You may ask yourself, is such precision really necessary? The answer is yes. The benefits of your food plot success in your wallet can be substantial. Take soil pH, for example. Most high quality forages grow best in soils with neutral soil pH about 6.5 to 7.5. If soil pH is below that, and most fallow soils are, nutrients are bound in the soil and plants cannot access them. Let's say the soil pH in your plot is only 5.0, which is highly acidic. If you fertilize and plant without adding lime to raise soil pH first, plants will only be able to access about half the fertilizer you put out. That means if you just spent $100 on fertilizer, you just wasted 50 bucks. A laboratory soil test can also tell you very precisely what your existing nutrient levels are and exactly what fertilizer to add for your existing forage. High quality laboratory soil testing kits are available for most agricultural universities, county agents, farm supply stores, and Whitetail Institute. If you prefer to use another soil test kit, that's fine, as long as the report is based on laboratory soil analysis. If you use a laboratory soil test kit from someone other than Whitetail Institute and have trouble understanding it, call the Whitetail Institute in-house consultants for free assistance. So now we've explained to you why it's important to take a laboratory soil test, let's talk about the proper way to take your soil test. Like we said before, there is nothing better that you can control that's gonna save you time and money. Once you've received your soil sample kit, you'll now need to prepare your soil samples along with the accompanying paperwork to send into the lab. And we're gonna show you just how easy that is. First of all, always use one kit per plot. You won't get full accuracy by using one kit for multiple plots because all soils can vary widely in soil pH and nutrient levels, even when those plots are located close together and the soils look very similar. The Whitetail Institute soil plot kit contains three things. An information sheet, a pouch for putting your soil sample in, and a pre-addressed envelope for sending the sheet and pouch back to the Whitetail Institute lab. If you are getting the seed beds ready to plant, try to decide what you'll be planting before you send in the soil sample. If you tell the lab what forage you're planting and whether you are planting or maintaining the plot, the lab can make very precise recommendations. With the Whitetail Institute soil test kit, this is very easy. Just check the appropriate block on the information sheet. Also, identify the sample with numbers or your name for the plot. The other information you'll need is very self-explanatory like your name, address, and if you elect to have the lab email your results to you, include your email address. To prepare your soil sample, take a spade and a bucket to the plot with you. Keep in mind that you want the soil sample you are sending to the lab to be representative of the top few inches of soil across the entire plot. Take soil from 10 to 20 different locations all over the plot to a depth of about three to six inches and put them all in a bucket. Then mix all the samples together thoroughly, remove any large pieces of plant and rocks, then fill the soil sample bag to the fill line provided on the pouch. Put each sample and its accompanying information sheet into the pre-addressed envelope and seal it. 
If you are doing more than one test, it can be a good idea to put all the seal kits into one box, send them all together, so that way you'll know they all arrive at the same time. Thank you for joining us on Whitetail Institute's Food Plot TV. Remember, soil samples are inexpensive, they're easy to do, but they are the difference between an awesome looking food plot and complete total failure. Yes, they are that important. If you have any questions at all, feel free to call our in-house consultants at the number on the screen, visit our website at whitetailinstitute.com, and thank you all once again for joining us on Whitetail Institute's Food Plot TV.